Watson Airs is the first um, demonstration of cognitive technology of Watson in an ad format. So if you take a Watson ability to understand real natural language, to reason, to interpret, and actually to converse, you've then got an ad unit for the first time. You could actually you can understand what your, what your intent is, what you're after, and then also actually have a conversation with you about the brand that is advertising. IBM's Watson has basically artificial intelligence. So in, in fields of sort of um, healthcare, it has a huge ability to take in a huge amount of data and actually to, to shift through that data very, very quickly, far more than an, the human. Humans are going to be very good at sort of common sense and, you know, um, and imagination. But what Watson can do is actually understand and learn. So therefore, how Watson Ads works is that once you talk to it, it will go away and bring in a huge other amount of data sets it has available understand what your intent is and then give you an answer based on the data it has available. Hey Watson, I'd like a recipe with pineapple, oranges and tomatoes. Watson would then go into its data and in real time come up with recipes from those ingredients that I have available. From that it would also then tell you pineapple for fajitas. I think that might be the only recipe you could come up with oranges, pineapples and tomatoes. But so with that it would give you the ingredients. It would then tell you which brand of Campbell soup that is actually uh using as a base and then come up with other ideas. Watson's taking in location, it's taking in the weather, it's taking in ingredients that we've given to it and it's taken in other recipes from that other people have used and actually coming up in real time a recipe based on the ingredients we've given it. Watson Ads has gone live in the US in October this year, 2016. Um, we're looking to, this is the moment it's working within a, a curated environment within the weather company, the Weather Channel app, but very shortly next year we'll be looking to take that onto a global footing and then ultimately off platform so that it could work across any sort of screen. So we see as the future of Watson is very much going to be a, a branch of advertising where you can talk to the advertisement in any sort of, in any sort of uh, situation, whether it be out of home, television, online, really anywhere you have a digital screen. It's going to be able to be a useful but also a fun service for the consumer. So therefore you can actually, you'll be have an opportunity. So some of the brands that we've, we're working with at the moment with Campbell Soup or with um, GS, GSK, Toyota, there's an opportunity for, for brands to actually start to collect data back. So because Watson learns as it goes along, it's almost like a huge quantitative research project going on the whole time. So the data that's coming back into Watson can then be fed back to the client, so actually they can actually start to affect product lines, development. So in the like of Campbell's Soup, you'll, be able, you'll start to see data being fed back, as in what, what ingredients are popular in certain areas. Does weather play a part in what ingredients people want at certain times? Which can help development and actually help better targeted advertising as it learns. So the way that Watson works is that it starts off with what you call a corpus of data. So there's a certain amount of recipe data that Campbell's has. We then overlay that with um, other data around sort of taste combinations and sort of how ingredients work together. And so Watson has a huge amount of data they can go to. So when someone interacts with the Campbell's ad, in real time it's pulling in location, weather, uh, ingredients that the consumer has on hand, and then in real time, making unique recipes based on all those factors. So in Campbell's, we're based on the Campbell's soup range, it will come up with recipes in real time that basically is gonna suit the consumer's real time needs, as well as um, ingredients they have on hand. And obviously Campbell's is involved in it, Campbell's uh, brand is involved in every single recipe that it makes.